my boards are cut, stick around and check out how we turn all of these boards into this beautiful bench. I got six two by fours here on my bench, and that's what you're gonna to need to make this project. If you're gonna buy new wood, six two by fours by eight foot long will get you enough wood to make this project. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the miner saw, I'll show a few cuts of each one. So I've got a little plan here. I'll put this on the screen in more detail where you can see it. What we're gonna need is eight boards that's 15 inches long, eight boards is 18 inches long and two boards that are going to be about 12 inches long. Here's what we're going to do. I've already cut this board here. This is how wide the braces are going to be. So I'll end up ripping down part of my two by fours to make them this width. You'll see what I mean in here in just a minute. So what I'm going to do is cut my 18 inches and then I'm, then I'm going to use this as my spacer to cut my 15 inches to make sure that I cut the exact length I need for how wide the two by fours will be for the top of the bench. Now to cut the boards that are about 15 inches, we're going to place this here and simply clamp it in place, just like so. Now for the 45 inch cut. I've got my block set down here, so I'll push it up against it. And you're going to need six of these. These last two that we, I told you to hold on to the cutoffs, we're going to cut about four inches off of them. Just to clarify, in my plans I said these will be 12 inches, I've decided to make them 11 inches. This will be so there will be a little bit of a gap at the bottom in the middle of the bench. So we got all of our boards cut to final length. And the next thing we need to do is rip all of these that are this wide, these uh, 45 inch 2x4s, to the same width as our piece that we used as our stop block on that end, on that end over there. That way it'll cut one side of these down and make it completely flat. And second is it'll make all, sure all of these two outboards are the exact same width. Because as you know, if you buy very many two outboards, they're not always the same width. So now we're gonna go to the table saw and rip all of these to this width. Before we start assembling, let's just review what we have one more time. We just ripped all of our 45 inch 2x4s to the 3 inches width that we used on the miter saw to cut the 18 inches down to the 15 inches. Sounds confusing, but hopefully when you look at the drawing I have on the screen, at the beginning of the video, it'll make sense. So we got six of those. We have eight 15 inch 2x4s. 18 inch 2x4s and then two that are 11 inches and these are just an odd size they don't have to be an exact length these other ones have to be exactly three inches apart that's why i did the 15 or the 15 and the 18. the length doesn't have to be exact either they just have to all be the same length so what we're going to do here is i'm going to glue these together for the for the sides of the bench Put it on there just like this. And this is gonna be the outside leg right here. So I'm gonna turn it over and put a few brad nails through it. Now I'm gonna drill a hole.
All I have here in the shop are these inch and five eighths inch screws, which is why you see the hole drilled so deep. And this will just help hold it until the glue dries. So spreading the glue out, and because I don't want a lot of squeeze out on this, I'm trying to keep most of it centered. Then we're going to take this, we're going to flip it over, flip it back over, because this will be the face on the other side of the bench. Rinse and repeat. Now we're ready to put this end one on. What I've done is I went ahead and put a couple of the 45 inch seats across here. I got the bottom one clamped down to line it up. And these two are in there and then I got this one set up here to line this board up. So I just need to put glue on here now. And now I'll just hit it with a couple of rat nails. Now we'll do pretty much the same thing on the other end. Now this next one on each side can be a little bit tricky. So what we're gonna do is put these here, hold it in place, make sure they're lined up. Make sure we're lined up with the sides. That looks good there. Here on this last one, it's the top, so we're going to do brad nails only because we don't want any screws on the face of the bench. Okay, I've already put glue on all of these, so now we're just going to go ahead and go back and slide these in. I think that adds a nice little touch there. Like I said, I don't think it's necessary. It'll add a little bit of strength, but I'm gonna put put a, one of those on each of the, the corners. So I've already glued this top one in place. To help hold it until the glue dries, I'm going to put a couple of brad nails angled in. This is called Ready Seal Dark Walnut. I got two little samples from Home Depot locally and gave me a couple of samples of this because I didn't need a whole lot for this, so I'm going to try it out. Never used it before, so I'll let you guys know how it goes. And what I did is I had two samples and I mixed them together to make sure I get a steady color, I mean a common color across the whole thing. So 
So the bench is done. I just finished staining and wiping it off. And I use this, like I said, I use this ready seal. It's outdoor like deck stain type stuff. So this thing is going to be good to go once it dries. I'm delivering it tomorrow, I think is the plan. This is going to my mom for Christmas. Today's Christmas Eve. Tomorrow's Christmas Day. I'm giving it to her tomorrow. It's not really a Christmas gift. I'm just giving it to her because I just wanted to give it to her. But it's really not a Christmas gift. But if you guys want to use some of your new tools, if you got new tools for Christmas, this is a great project to get in the shop and do easy and you can knock it out really quick. One thing I will note, if you couldn't tell, is that I unscrewed these bolts that are in here when I stained it. And I'll screw them back in after it dries a little bit. Not, I don't know if it's necessary, but it keeps those bolts from getting stained on them and turning a different color besides the silver. And like I said, I don't think they're necessary. They're in there for support, but mainly they look, I think they look, add a nice little touch to the bench with these type of heads. So that's what I did that for. I think that's going to wrap up this video. Make sure that you subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget to check those out. And you can check me out on my website too. The link is on my about section of my YouTube channel. That will go straight to my website and I have a little bit of stuff there working on getting more content there. So go and check me out there. As always, thanks for watching and y'all will see me next time. Merry Christmas.